what Confucius meant about the quality of music when he says it's based upon the quality of its music. He wasn't talking about what kind of genre the music was in. He wasn't talking about whether it was rap or country, rock and roll, gospel or jazz. What he was referring to when he met the the uh, uh, the quality of its music was what frequency was that music being played in, and what mathematical intervals was that was the uh, the difference between the uh, the frequencies. You see, that was absolutely crucial for thousands of years during the Chinese dynasties. Uh, the emperors would send out teams of people all over the kingdom to make sure that the that the uh, the people were playing music in the rock in the right frequency, the proper frequencies with the proper intervals. They had strict guidelines about the music that was being played because the emperor knew that if you had different factions of different kingdoms playing different types of music, different frequencies of music, that all those different realms would soon be at strife and, and against one another. So it was imperative that the entire kingdom played music in, in tune with one another and they set specific and strict guidelines of, of what frequency was this music to be played at. So 2,500 years, uh, uh, or actually 4,500 years ago, the Chinese were using uh, the vibration of music uh, to control the people. Now let's fast forward to today. Now what do we know about today's music? What do we know about what tuning our music is in and where did this tuning come from? So 432 hertz was the frequency in which instruments pre-1939, again for the most part, was used in Europe and around the world. But that all changed in 1939 when an international conference held in London recommended strongly that the world frequency, at least in regards to tuning instruments, be changed to 440 hertz. After this date, the BBC, among many others around the world, required their orchestras to tune to 440 hertz. This slowly changed the tuning mechanics now being used as an industrial standard to 440 hertz. A major change from the organic 432 hertz to the 440 hertz. Only 14 years later, in 1955, 440 hertz became the standard that was adopted by industrial standards worldwide. The question people are now asking is, was there a more sinister reason for the change? Since a number of researchers have stated that people feel differently under the long-term influence of music and broadcasts at 440Hz than they actually do at the natural organic broadcast of 432Hz. Today, extensive research has shown that music can speed or slow your heart rate, relax or jar your nerves, affect your blood pressure, digestion, even your rate of respiration. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you that music can also affect your emotions and desires. It can have a very significant influence on your mental processes and in turn can influence an entire society as the Chinese knew over 4,000 years ago. So where did the frequency of today's music come from? Just about the entire modern world uses the standard concert pitch of A equals 440 hertz. Now what this means is on a piano for example the A above middle C is tuned to 440 hertz, then all the rest of the notes uh, are tuned around this frequency. But the problem with this is, there's absolutely nothing harmonious, either biologically or cosmically, with the 440 hertz frequency. So why are we using it? 